Oh, you wonder why I haven't been making outfit videos? Well, I've been in this sweatshirt and these sweatpants and haven't left my house for two months. But with spring approaching, here comes new hope. I feel like I'm kind of excited to plan my spring capsule wardrobe again. Well, let me get off my ass and do that. Well, the first step is to go into your closet and see what you already have. Usually it starts with a spring clean, but there's absolutely nothing to clean here for me because I haven't touched my wardrobe since the beginning of winter. I just come in, take my sweatshirt and sweatpants, and get out. Don't mind me. I'm just reconnecting with all my clothes. It's been a while. We need to uh, catch up. When it comes to building a capsule wardrobe, I really don't think there are any strict rules that you should follow. The purpose of a capsule wardrobe is to make dressing easier for you. It's not about restricting yourself. We all know the more choices we have, the harder it is for us to choose. We can literally create hundreds of outfits with only 30 to 40 pieces of clothing per season. So what season are we working with? Obviously spring, duh. But depending on where you live, spring could mean very different things to different people. I live in Toronto. My spring is probably like mild winter for some of you. I feel like every time I talk about capsule wardrobe, I just start trolling the weather in Toronto. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Spring, fall, winter are basically just different variations of winter. And then there's the two months of summer that's actually nice. Anyways, good thing March is almost over, so I'm gonna be planning my wardrobe for late spring here. I think this will be closer to a typical spring for most of you. Okay, now that we've planned for the weather, the next thing to consider is the lifestyle. As some of you may know, I'm still in semi-quarantine here. Actually, this is my one year anniversary in quarantine. Yay! Basically, I'm trying to say I don't have a lifestyle, or a life for that matter, but I'm just gonna pretend I do. But yeah, if you do have a life, think about what activities you typically do and how often you do them, and then plan your wardrobe according to that. Next, we gotta think about the color palette. If you know me, you already know what I'm about to say. Black and white, yes. And beige, because I think it's a perfect color for the spring season. These three are gonna be my base colors. For my accent color, I'm just gonna add a pop of blue. And that's pretty much it. I have to emphasize again, if you love colors, then add colors in your capsule. A capsule wardrobe doesn't have to be all neutral. I happen to love neutrals and I never get bored of it. So I don't see a point for me to add more colors if I don't want to, you know what I mean? This year, I'm returning to simplicity. Or in the words of Christina Aguilera, back to basics. I'm going back to basics, to where it all began. I'm just gonna wear the most basic pieces out there. Simple colors, classic cuts, natural materials. But here's the twist, because I'm dramatic after all. I'm gonna style these pieces like I'm on a vacation in the Riviera. That's gonna be my style. I don't care. I know physically I'm stuck in Canada, but mentally I am on a beach vacation in the Riviera. Now, let me go pick my stuff for my uh, three months vacation. The master plan. In this capsule, I'm planning to have 30 pieces of clothing, that is excluding shoes, bags, and accessories. I plan to have 10 tops, 10 bottoms, 8 outerwear, and 2 dresses. Let's look at what kind of tops I already have. I am literally shopping from my own closet right now. Alright, these are the things that I know I would love to wear this season. I'm gonna take some time to think about what kind of outfits I want to create, and I'll also review my wish list and see what I still need. Let me report back to you tomorrow. Okay, I have picked my 30 items. You're going to see a lot of pieces that you've seen before, if you've been following me since last year. Well, I'm happy with what I have in my wardrobe, and I'm gonna keep wearing them because I own them, and I also own a washing machine. However, you will see a few new pieces that I collected over the past few months, and I've got three items on my wish list that I'm planning to purchase for this season. Anyways, you'll see.
For this capsule, I chose a basic white long sleeve top. I got this shirt from Everlane for my fall capsule and my winter capsule. Now I can wear it for spring too. That's bang for the buck right there. This one is a basic black long sleeve top, also from Everlane. Well, when I say I want to wear the most basic pieces out there and wear black and white, I mean it. I got this Breton top a long time ago from J.Crew. If you want to pretend you're sailing somewhere in the Riviera, this is your perfect shirt. Although you might end up looking like an actual sailor. Nothing screams of beach vacation more than the classic white linen button-down shirt. This shirt is also from Evelyn. Evelyn should probably consider paying me at this point. Anyways, when it comes to the warmer season, I love linen because it's a breathable natural material. Aside from linen, I also love silk in the warmer season. I got this champagne silk button-down shirt a while back from a Danish brand called Beige Shop. You're probably sick of seeing this shirt by now, but I still love it. Another shirt I love wearing in spring is this blue striped button-down shirt that I got from Ralph Lauren a long time ago. This shirt is also perfect for faking a Riviera vacation. I basically major in this subject. Okay, let me show you something you haven't seen before. I got this open work white blouse from Missimo Duty over the winter. Yes, I've been preparing for spring since the beginning of winter. I just can't wait to wear this shirt outside already. But realistically, I'm probably still gonna be stuck with my cashmere sweater for now because, you know, spring here is just a different variation of winter. I got this from Everlane. It was in both my fall and winter capsule. No surprise there. I got this knit polo shirt from Banana Republic a long time ago. This is for the warmer days of spring, of course. I can totally see myself chilling on a yacht in this shirt. Okay, I'm going a bit too far now. This little beige knit tank top is from Aritzia. I believe this was from their fall collection. I bought it in winter, and now I'm wearing it for spring. Yeah, makes total sense. Anyways, it actually comes with a cardigan, which you'll see in a bit. As for the bottoms, of course I chose my beloved straight leg blue jeans from Everlane. I didn't used to like wearing jeans at all, but this year I'm all about jeans. I guess I finally got the appeal of jeans after 148 years. I'm also including my black flare jeans from Evelyn in this capsule. These jeans are super comfortable and easy to wear. They're also really flattering because they kind of accentuate your butt. And so, I'm ordering another pair in dark blue. I told you I'm all about jeans now. I used to have a pair of dark blue skinny jeans, but I feel like I'm moving away from skinny jeans now because they're not that comfortable. On the same note, I'm ordering one more pair of white wide leg jeans from Everlane to replace my old white skinny jeans. Literally, all my jeans are from Everlane now. Oh, remember these white wide leg pants that show up in pretty much every single one of my outfit videos? Yep, they're still kicking. I got these from Zara probably three years ago. Well, that's how I turn fast fashion into slow fashion. And of course, I'm including my black wide leg pants. These pants also show up quite frequently in my outfit videos. I got them a while ago from Aritzia. Just so you know, you're gonna continue seeing them a lot, because they're still my favorite. Next are these white golf pants. I made my dad buy them for me in a cutaway store in Hong Kong because I thought I would keep up with playing golf. I didn't, but at least now they get to be in my capsule wardrobe. These beige golf pants are from Munsingwear, which I also made my dad buy for me in Hong Kong. Again, I know I'm not wearing them for their intended purpose, but at least I do wear them quite often. Enough of pants, here's a skirt for you. I know, finally. I got this beige linen skirt from Aritzia a while ago. I don't wear skirts that often in spring to be honest with you, but I'm including this one because it's springy and versatile. I got this black mini skirt from Missimo Duty over the winter. I didn't end up wearing it in winter because I was in sweatpants for two months, duh. But now I'm excited to finally liberate my legs. Okay, that came out a bit weird. Moving on to the outerwear category. Remember the beige knit tank top I showed you earlier? This is the cardigan that came with it. I've been wanting to try this knit-on-knit -knit look for a while. I just hope I don't freeze my kidney off with that little cropped tank top. Did anyone say cashmere? Oh yeah, it was me. I got this fitted cashmere cardigan from Everlane. You all pretty much know I have an obsession with cashmere, and this obsession just doesn't end even when it's starting to get warmer. I got this oversized cashmere cardigan from Aritzia for my winter capsule. I know I already have a white cashmere cardigan in this capsule, but sometimes I like it oversized and sometimes I like it fitted. 
This spring, I finally decided to try out linen blazer because I love linen and because YOLO! I found this one in Massimo Duty. It's made of 100% linen, which fits the bill perfectly. So I'm gonna order it and give it a go. I'm also including my black oversized blazer in this capsule. I got this from Aritzia for my fall capsule. Now that I've survived winter, I can finally start wearing it again in spring. When it comes to a spring capsule, how can I not include my beloved beige trench coat? It's a Tory Burch trench coat I got secondhand from the rear wheel. It was in my fall capsule too, and some people said I looked fat in it, but I don't care. Yep, I read all your comments. This white trench coat is also from my fall capsule. I got it from Aritzia. Some people say it looks like a doctor's coat. Yep, I know because I'm watching you. Anyways, it doesn't change the fact that I love it though. This black leather jacket is from a winter capsule. It's an All Saints leather jacket I scored secondhand from ThreadUp. It's probably a bit heavy compared to the rest of my capsule, but I like adding a bit of spice. Not on my food though. And now we're finally moving on to the dresses category. The first dress I chose is this white silk slip dress from Manito. Actually, it's supposed to be pajamas, but I don't care. I'm gonna wear it outside because I love it too much. This linen slip dress is from Reformation. Last year around this time, I accidentally ripped my favorite silk slip dress that looked exactly the same as this one. After one year of intense searching, I found it. My search is finally over. And that concludes the 30 pieces I selected for my spring capsule wardrobe. And you guessed it, next week I'm gonna style all these pieces. I know, finally an outfit video after two months. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!